Good morning, we just got to the climbing gym. So here we go. We're gonna climb and then we're gonna go to the Lego store to see if they have the new minifigures and then see if they might have the last minifigure we need in the minifigure series and hope that we walk out with just minifigures today. Can I do it? I hope I can. Like, look at that. Oh, short people problems, kind of. go <laughs> so now we're headed to the lego store we had a good climb some frustration but also some excitedness does that make sense i don't know i i got a boulder that was like my limit ish like i guess i've done a v7 but that's my limit that's my actual limit i did a v5 v6 and then I got really close to doing a 6-7. I think on video we have it somewhere of me slipping. Yeah, uh, May have to keep that out of this, we'll but... To, might have to throw the clip up. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Let's hope for some good luck at the Lego store. We had to stop off at our favorite grocery store, local co-op, but we got some breakfast tacos. We are plant-based, so mine has potato onion like grilled onions and peppers and then black beans and then yours beans potatoes and vegan sausage so some good stuff in there all right we just got to the mall and we're about to head into the lego store <laughs> We've actually never seen this either, but our store actually had all the new minifigure parts sorted out into bins, which I honestly thought was a really good idea. But let us know in the comments if you've ever seen this before. Trunk haul, here we go. We got the customizable heart ornament, fully loaded pick a brick box. And looks like we got the penguin, the polar bear, the polar bear with the dog shirt. And then we didn't get the carrot, but we liked the outfit. Added a couple extra little dogs, an extra butterfly. Then there's the other ones. These are all complete as is, I guess, as they were supposed to mm -hmm. be. We would like to, at some point, like take that everyone is awesome set and have like a, Just a, the a brick built or a brick person, I guess. So. Um, that's why we got him because he came back in our build a minifig and then here we got a bunch of props basically lots of butterflies because oh, they're gorgeous we got the pieces to complete that girl because we weren't originally going to do it but then we didn't want like anything else and so. then a bunch of butterflies which probably too many but it'll look good in like a a town or a little village and then don't forget this a piece that fell out. Those piece. And there we have it. Nice, nice trunk haul. Okay, we got a shipment in from Bricker Builds to review one of their sets. They asked us to, to choose a saber. We chose Ahsoka as a Padawan, her lightsaber. So it's that like green and then light green they color. Only, they only had her Padawan saber. Yeah, but we figured there's two of us. So it actually makes sense to have gotten one that comes with two. We're doing an unboxing. I'm excited. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Ah! 
so it comes looking Ooh. like this. A note from the designer, Louis Meany. I think that's how you say his name. But at Built Bricks. What's cool is they order all the pieces and then they individually bag them with numbers, which is amazing. It's kind of just like a normal Lego set. And these are official Lego pieces, but just like any Lego set, you go through the directions and having the bags labeled is really nice. Directions are online. And actually it looks like too, there's a QR code for the instructions as well. And then you can always write a review, which is always helpful for companies. So here they are. And maybe we'll do a little video at some point with a small review. But yeah, thank you to Bricker Builds. Very this excited to build these. Yeah. We might, we, we might have to build these tonight. Probably. All right. Got the new shirt. Yeah. So we are in different clothing because we got out of our gross climbing clothing and then he got this shirt delivered today. You just got to keep on bricking, man. We're going to show what we got in our pick a brick and I just realized you can't see it. So I'm going to put the camera down a little bit and this is going to be cut out. So first we'll show you guys the up close of all of the minifigures we got. So there, there's the llama with the white guitar. The pink brick lady with blue hair and a microphone. And then the blue next to it. Which that, that was just something, I think they had been in our build a minifig bins in the past. But that was something that they just like reintroduced, I guess, from the stock in the back, probably. Little penguin guy with the gray squirrel. The clown guy, girl, I, I'm not sure. Clown person. The carrot lady, which like, honestly, her little top is very cool. It's like the coolest part about her. And then the shorts, I think, is a new color yeah. for shorts. Um, someone said that. I guess we'll dress them. Over there. Polar bear with a dog shirt. Not really sure why they did that, but the shirt is really cool because yeah. it has paw prints on the back as well. And then the jeans are pretty cool because they're, they're ripped and it has a belt. So Maybe they're ripped from the dog. Pretty cool. And then here is the dog. Little French bulldog or just bulldog. I don't know. But we got a couple of them. And then the, the, the butterfly. Monarch. Yeah. I don't know if that's a monarch. I think like, it is. I don't know. Or no, monarch the monarchs are like yellow, orange. orange and... But whatever this is, is really pretty. I forget what it's called. And then I'll go over what we did for Pick a Brick. So the reason I wanted to do this was because... For Brick Rodeo, I'm personally going to be doing an Endor mock. So I got a ton of the dark tree pieces, or tree leaf pieces, as well as the smaller, smaller ones, but lighter green. And then we are going to be making our A-frame cabin that is currently winterized. We're going to make it spring. So these will come in handy. I know we have a few, but not that many. So I wanted to get more, which is also why I got some of these like flowery type pieces. Some of these studs, the pink studs. These will help. Yeah, that's gonna look so nice. And then just like the, these flowers. Oh my gosh, my hands have like holes in them from climbing. Oh yeah, today was, today was a rough day for the, yeah. the skin. My skin is not okay. And then, of course, I mean, we do have a bunch of these, but it's always good to have these green leaf pieces. Also worked on this. We, we hit 8K on Instagram. So Yay! I uh, worked on this guy. And then I got a ton of the green, like dark green Which studs. Which also very glad you got those. One of the reasons why, so since they switched to the boxes, it, after having this many leaves, it was hard to figure out what else, else to add. We did add some of these. Um, and then these like L-shaped, just because again, with Endor, the more green, the better. I do want to find more dark green pieces, but this is still going to be useful, even if it's just on the ground or like on the trees as like moss or whatever. Studs are nice because they, they fit in the little cracks in the box. So we try to utilize the space as much as we can, especially because now the pick-a-brick is 
$17.99 and I think it's $9.99 for the small. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to smack the like button, smack the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you later. We'll see you soon. Yeah.